This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 31st of May. I'm Michael Graff. Temperatures back to where they should be for this time of year, and that means hot weather here across the southwest. We'll be close to the century mark through the weekend and much of next week. What about rain chances? Do we have any of those to talk about? Probably not. You know, it's the dry season. Let's get into it. First, the almanac from yesterday, 96 degrees for the high, 71 the morning low. That's just a little bit below where we should be for this time of year. Outside right now, here at 7.45 a.m., we've got sunny skies, 75 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 39, humidity 27%, the winds are light, and the barometer is steady. Temperatures out there this morning, 62 is the cool spot, that's at Goldfield, a couple of locations are in the upper 60s, but most of us are in the 70s to begin this day. The upper air look, we've got a trough out here in the western states and over the Great Basin that will still play a role in our weather, keeping temperatures held in check. We're not going to see any extreme heat anytime soon. The watch warning map, some flash flood watches over parts of the Rockies and still some flood warnings out in the Plain states where they have just been deluged by rain this month. And over northwest Arkansas, parts of Missouri, levees are breaking. We have some flood emergencies ongoing there. Convective outlook for today, a couple of slight risk areas defined from around Rhinelander over to Green Bay and Sheboygan, Wisconsin, as well as Raleigh, Virginia Beach, Wilmington, North Carolina. Precipitation outlook valid through next Friday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts here in the valley, nothing. Statewide, practically nothing. Maybe some isolated showers in the far eastern portions. We'll get into the, to the details of it now as we check out the models and have a look. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. And there you see it, a low out here over the Great Basin. And that trough continues to hang around, weakening as it is. So down at the surface today with that southwesterly flow, we'll have mostly sunny skies, should be dry. High temperatures mid and upper 90s. The normal high for today hits that 100 degree mark. So we'll be just a degree or three shy of that. Tonight, with mostly clear skies and a dry air mass, lows get down into the 60s for most of us near 70 in the urban core. And tomorrow, again, mostly sunny highs, mid and upper 90s, same thing on Sunday. And that upper low is going to just sort of hang around, and there may be enough moisture and dynamics for a couple of showers and thunderstorms over the Sierra, the Great Basin. And some of the models had indicated a little moisture being drawn northward into parts of New Mexico and far eastern Arizona, especially as we get to Monday. Even if that happens, and that looks rather doubtful at this point, uh, we would still stay dry here in the valley. Sunny skies. Highs somewhere between about 96 and 99 each day, and that's going to continue on Tuesday. Wednesday, we'll start to see ridging build in here across the southwest. Not particularly strong, uh, so temperatures will stay pretty close to seasonal averages, and we continue with that trend even on Thursday, mostly sunny skies. I bet one of these days we probably hit 100, maybe 101, but for the most part, highs are going to stay in that general range, somewhere between about 96 and 100. All right, let's go out to a week from today. This is Friday, the 7th of June. We've got troughing north and west of the state, a ridge here. Heights pretty close to average, so temperatures will be pretty close to average. Even going out 10 days to the end of the period, this is Sunday, the 9th of June. Now we've got a trough uh, headed our way, a big 594 heat ridge to our south, and so temperatures will be on the toasty side, although if that trough does ultimately develop and come through, we might see temps back off a degree or three once again. Let's check out the temperatures through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble, and you know it's going to be hot this time of year. Highs pretty close to 100, lows in the 70s. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here on Monday morning. And if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are always encouraged as well. Be safe out there, stay cool, and you guys have yourselves a great weekend.